In the beginning God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God sent His Son into the world. Jesus even said, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Jesus came to show how a man's life would look like in the fullness of God. Jesus lived a life of service. Paul wanted us to know that life, a life full of love, and to know that the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Jesus walked around Judea, healing and bringing the good news to the people, both to the poor and to the elite. He had given up his personal interests, lost sight of his own temporal future, just to do the work his Father has given him. Jesus mentioned, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Jesus also calls us to live in that kind of life, a life full of service and love. That life is the light of man. Everyone who would follow the steps of Jesus would be honored to receive the commendation. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The day we wanted to serve the Lord is the day we begin to desire of becoming a light to the world, a blessing to humanity. The desire to have a life full of service and love is a life where we forsake the life we plan to make for ourselves, to leave behind the wealth of the world, where many have spent their time and strength into. A life of service is to forsake the life of worldly glory, for the prophets of old have nothing to glory for themselves. Even Jesus said, Is not the life more than me, and the body more than raiment? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. The life of Jesus is the light of men, the life given for us to behold and to imitate. We have to learn that this world is passing away, and our life is but short, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. May we live the life of Jesus, that we may spend this short life to the fullness of God.